in the context of, of, of science and so-called big science, very soon we will be trying to tackle problems that, that has, have never been uh, faced by humanity. Uh, within the next few years, uh, we can expect completion of a uh, square kilometer radio telescope, both in Australia and South Africa. Uh, this uh, in scientific instrument, that will be the largest scientific instrument ever created by humanity, will consist of several thousands of uh, radio telescope dishes, communicating uh, between each other, sending data, co collecting data in real time continuously. This instrument alone is estimated to generate of the order of petabyte of uh, data a second. Of course, normal consumer, normal uh, person on, on the street doesn't even un have a good concept of what petabyte of, of data is. Uh, it's so it can be translated in, into dollar value. How much it costs to store one petabyte, how much it costs to, to buy a storage for one petabyte of data. The, there are no organizations and countries that, that could you know, buy storage quickly enough to absorb this amount of data. So, so we are entering the, the, the times where big data will be the biggest computational problem that we have to tackle with. How to do pre-processing, how to do pro uh, compression, how to throw out data. We'll have to get rid of, of large volumes of data because we cannot absorb so much until the time that maybe we'll find some, some ways, or maybe never. Uh, and that's in scientific space. So uh, clearly there will be a huge technical, scientific, uh, and organizational challenges faced by in, in, in that context. In the space of, of commerce, uh, government, uh, uh, both public and, and, and commercial sectors, uh, there will be more and more reliance of data. But then here, we face different type of problems. And uh, since the problem is reasonably new, we are uh, f facing a rather paradoxical situation where on one hand, we would like to collect and have insight from, from, from large volume of volumes of data. On the other hand, uh, there are tendencies to protect personal data. And there is a huge paradox in, 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 with this issue. On one hand, people behave in an extremely narcissistic and voyeuristic way, where they uh, voluntarily give away their privacy, their private data, their private life, their private identity, if I may say social networks. Basically, Almost anybody who is on, on, on social uh, network is exposed with the greatest, minutest detail of their private life and information about what they do, what they eat, where they are, whom they meet, what they think of almost. At the same time, when we need information that may help the whole uh, society at the societal level, for example, genomic information, about the origin or sort of, of propagation, genomic uh, means of propagation of, of certain conditions that perhaps could be cured or could be, could be helped. We face huge issue of privacy of medical data. And uh, everybody will agree that the, the value of, of medical data a collection of medical, medical data at the level of uh, community or, or society or national level, uh, regional level is, is, is uh, priceless. However, access to collection of data uh, is a problem. Uh, ma maintenance of this data, access to this data, and using information based on that data, all of those things face huge moral, legal, and uh, 
perceptual problems. Uh, we have to face those problems because the, these problems are not of technical nature. We have to understand and weigh in uh, the, uh, the protection of privacy on one hand, on the other hand, the uh, good of, of, of society and progress. And sometimes, uh, right now, I think we, we, we are in a frustrated situation where some sort of um, backward forces, I would call them, are, are sort of stopping us from, from, from making better use of information that we already have or we might collect very easily.